bring in our Atlanta News First anchor and attorney, Joy Limnacrin, right now. Joy, you have a pretty interesting perspective here on what's been going on. Uh, and so tell us a little bit about what that jury may have been keeping in mind as we uh, look toward the, the sentencing and the uh, verdict that was handed down just about 30 minutes ago or so. Well, I think it was very telling that they spent most of today uh, re-examining testimony that they heard during the course of the trial, specifically testimony from um, Mr. Trump's former attorney and so-called former fixer, um, Michael Cohen, as well as testimony from the uh, former National Enquirer publisher, um, head publisher, uh, Mr. Peck, David Peck. So, you know, clearly that was something that was on the minds of jurors as they continued day two of deliberations today. This jury deliberated for 11 hours and 43 minutes. And apart from uh, focusing in on that testimony, the jury also asked to re-listen to the jury instructions because um, in the state of New York, uh, much like here in the state of Georgia, uh, the, the court does not, um, as they call it, publish jury instructions, meaning the jurors don't get a physical copy of jury instructions. It's actually just read to them. So they wanted to hear that again, meaning they wanted to be really clear on what exactly the law was, um, what the kind of legal threshold was for finding Mr. Trump um, guilty on all of these counts. So it just kind of gives you gives you a look into what may have been going on in, in their analysis, in their mindset. Certainly, uh, you know, the fact that they asked to re-listen to testimony from both Mr. Cohen and um, Mr. Peck from, you know, formerly of the National Enquirer, and specifically around uh, the uh, 2015 meeting surrounding uh, the kind of catch and kill scheme, alleged catch and skill, kill scheme, uh, you know, it, I think it could be gleaned that that was a big part of, of their kind of analysis and decision making process. And just kind of not to gloss over that when I'm talking about this alleged catch and kill scheme, this was a scheme um, to essentially suppress negative information to stop negative stories from going on to the media. Um, and explicitly or specifically the National Enquirer in, in that particular case. But uh, quite a surprise to many legal observers that, you know, all 34 counts, they, they came up with guilty verdicts because um, easily it could have been a split verdict. I've covered numerous trials where, um, you know, the jury may find guilty on uh, maybe half of the counts and, and acquit the defendant on, an, on another half or, or some other split. But to find Mr. Trump guilty on all 34 counts in such a short period of time, quite frankly, I think was very stunning to many legal observers. Yeah, and I mean, Joy, we both listened to that verdict read, and you it was almost a little sobering hearing count after count after count, guilty, 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 guilty. I, I don't know about you, but yeah. that was just an incredible moment there uh, as we were listening into that uh, verdict being read live. Yeah, and, and you know, you mentioned it, a historic moment, because now this is the first time We've had a former president um, who's now a, a criminal convict. Uh, he has just been convicted of, of 34 different counts of, of felony charges. We're talking about falsifying business records. And, um, you know, I, I'm not sure how much our viewers have been following. I think most people do know this is related to hush money payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels. And uh, to be very clear, the the law doesn't prohibit you know so-called hush money payments you know to cover up an alleged affair in this case what really was under scrutiny here were was kind of the the cover up uh, in terms of financial documents um the the, the counts here were for falsifying um financial records essentially and you know it's hundred and thirty thousand uh, dollars in in payments to uh, Michael Cohen the former attorney former fixer of um, Mr. Trump and how those were characterized how those were mischaracterized um, where they were actually hush money is is what this jury found um, and then they were the, how they were documented was uh, was false.